What's that? Dream on. Oh, dude, we haven't listened to any Aerosmith yet. Oh, hey, we're, gonna, we're gonna hold on, hold on. I love Steven Tyler, man. Non point, alive and kicking, requested by Milkweed. Uh, before that, we're gonna uh, make sure to like, subscribe, tell we your mama. Like. Tell your mama. Make sure you like, get subscribe, and uh, subscribe and share. You like it, and very com nice. And comment and uh, like again. <laughs> right, let's go. Low on purpose? It is a low. Is you turn up with just that? Uh, hold on. Just a bit? Let me see. How about now? I like the bass. Go back just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Before he, he I want to hear off. that first guitar riff again. It sounded like they went da 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 You know what I mean? I want to hear it again. Yeah, they went. Yeah. Da -da 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 Remember, remember I said that about the saxophone players, right? I'm like, there's one thing when you're hitting the note, and then you have Kenny G, who is like leading you up to the note. Very good, very good right now. Then he went higher with that. Like an octave, like an octave higher with the same thing. Yeah. Very good, very good. Very good. Pause real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, I know you. Like, I don't need you to make a comment on this, all right? But Travis Scott does what they just did very often in in, in his music, right? Because on that second part, they hit it again. They're like, dun, 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 dun. Then they went, dun, 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 dun. it's like when you expected them to hit it again, they just like, dun, 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 and they led you into it, letting you know, like, just, just like. Wait, you know, I know you expected it, but we're not giving it to you right there. Travis does this in the subtleties of his music all the time. I know if you don't listen to him, you wouldn't understand, but it's it's a, it's a very, very musician thing to do, where it's like, I know I could give you that again, but let me take you somewhere else, because mm -hmm. I know you're expecting that. So mm -hmm. I appreciated them doing that. Mm -hmm. Can I put you first? It made the situation worse. Because you want to take advantage and control of the things that I manage to keep under control. Like my happiness, my family. Yeah. Interesting, but that was interesting. That wasn't rock at all. No. That wasn't rock at all. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Now it, his vocals kind of reminds me a little bit of Linkin Park. <laughs> like, okay. But okay. A little bit. I can hear that. Yeah. Obviously, before Linkin Park. I, I don't want to be a downer, though, you know, but the chorus is not that good, in my opinion. All right, that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, well, I'll comment on it after. Go ahead. Uh. A little bit underwhelming. Yeah. I like 
this riff. I think this is the best riff right now. This one. You talking from the guitar? Yeah, the guitar. From the guitar? Yeah. Okay. okay. Which is getting a little bit overshadowed by his vocals. Because if you listen well, to well, this. Ever, ever, since, ever since you pointed out how boring the vocals are, I've been paying attention to them, waiting for them to, to you know what I mean? Waiting for yeah. them to do something. You know? I, but you're right. But he he sounds like every. Yeah. No, but, he, but the singer sounds like every single rock singer in the 2000s. Mm. Like he switches his voice from Linkin Park to Limp Bizkit to it's like he, yeah. he has a really good voice, but he, he's like the original Ray Charles. When Ray Charles first came out, he was just imitating everybody. Yeah. So it's like he really does sound like everybody else. And it's but it's good though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what the problem yeah. is? The 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 riff is kind of too much voice right there. Yeah, the riff is kind of the notes are kind of evil, but his vocal line is in a different mood, so it, it, it kind of takes away from the evilness of the riff. Uh, let me show you here. Right, Hold on. right. Because the riff goes. Like it, yeah, but, but, but it also, but, no, but it also has that whine in it though. That wah 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 wah. wah. So it, it almost yeah. like takes. I feel like it takes some of the sinister out of it. A yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. I want the sinister to be more pre uh, present. I like the I sinister. Think, yeah. Right, right. Like basically, I think the riff is better than the vocals. Uh, I don't. I know that doesn't make sense, but I like yeah, the no, riff. No, I mean, no, no. Well, it, yeah. I mean, it does, but it's like now, what makes the song bigger, though, right? Vocals or the it has riff? to have vocals. Right? Yeah, it's unfortunate, right? Yeah. It's, but it is what it is, right? Yeah. Maybe he didn't choose the right vocal line. Well, may, yeah, well, may, maybe, yeah, maybe you would have liked it better if he would have had the vocals more muffled, right? Remember, I say that. Remember, or like, no? Like, maybe the vocal line should be more in line with the sinister note, because his vocal line is is going away. Like, 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 so you mean like a lower sinister. octave, like so? No, not 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 necessarily lower octave. No, not necessarily lower octave. The the notes that a he's different, a different key. Yeah, he should, different key. he should choose a, a note that is more in line with the notes that are sinister. He's choosing something else that is going yeah, away that, from the yeah, sinister. That, 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 that would have to be like a trial and error thing. You yeah. have to try a bunch of notes and see which one sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I can hear what you mean. I guess I understand. Yeah, I guess I understand what you mean because it's like he's singing like just regular, like neutral almost. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I hear it now, it, it it's becomes like, a like neutral punk rock. Yeah, and then, and then they are way down here, like giving yeah. you like intricate. Yeah, I I, I hear what. You're yeah, saying, the riff right? is giving you sinister stuff, and he's doing something else. It but he's becomes, just like regular. Yeah, it's, it's like neutral, like like radio pop. Almost. Yeah, like it becomes pop. weird. It becomes yeah, two yeah. different intentions at the same time. Yeah, I yeah. I, I, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. It's almost as if he's singing a different song, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, it's, it's like he's copying. It's, it's like he's copying like some Green Day or something. It's like over there. All right, Green yeah. Day is popular right now, so let me sing like Green Day or let me sing like like Blink One Eighty Two or you know what I mean, whatever the popular shit is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let you me go, go first. first. Yeah, yeah, let me go first. Let me go first. Yeah, yeah let me go first. <laughs> Shout out Chester. You know what I mean? He's like, he did sound like, you know, Chester a lot. But, uh, uh, 
from Lincoln Park, right? Isn't Chester the, the lead? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I'm like. He's using yeah, pitch correction, though. Like it... You know that, right? Chester. Did you know that? Not a, not a lot of people no. knew that. I don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't listen to Lincoln Park. I'm but, here to burst but, everybody's but, bubble. Yeah. But I, I listen. I, you know, I like good music whenever wherever it's at, though. Yeah, yeah I get it. Like I said earlier, you know, what I mean, I love the guitar part. Whether we'll look at, listen, whether you guys who are rock fans want to admit it or not, right? This song is half hip hop. The the singer, right? The singer, he was doing hip hop shit. You know what I mean? So this is like Limp Bizkit, for real. This is really not that far from Limp Bizkit, but he was doing the rock voice, and I thought his voice sounded great. Like I thought he mimicked the people he was trying to mimic perfect, and it was hip hop over that rock thing. I think that's why it sounded weird. You know what I mean? Because you know, the, and, 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 and 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 I have already admitted that hip hop was created by taking rock songs taking the cadences putting them over different beats so I, it is like you know they're, they're 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 both serving each other you know what i mean yeah but this song was like there was a little bit of the hip-hop with the vocals and so it was very poppy but i, I love the guitar though and i loved i love the composition of the shit like, like i said um comparing it to whatever that one band uh subtura or whatever it was, like, it was a similar composition but it was just way simpler you know what i mean so it was more, it was easy for me to digest. I will admit that, right? That listening to it, you're like, yeah, the composition of the other one was better. It was better, right? But to digest, to remember, this one was way easier to remember, easier yeah. to digest. And then the words, even though, yeah, it wasn't, you know what I mean? But it's like, it at least gives me something to connect to the sounds now. Yeah. I'm connecting the sounds to when I heard the words, you know? So that, that's a, my critique of that, of that other song that I gave you is represented in this. I'm like, not saying it's a bad song, but it's like, they did what I suggested that that other band should have did. Like a little bit of, you know, words here and there to make it something that people can hold on to. And then one or two riffs and make them simpler. You know what I mean? Make them simpler so that way the average fan can can listen to it, like it, and then even like share it with their friends. You know what I mean? And rem rem again, I'm still going to bring up how I, the, the simple nature of music and how it's important with the Miguel song, all right? The Miguel song, after this one, I'm, I'm going to bring that up because it's, it's, it's an important point. Oh, yeah, you said I something about song. Miguel. Yeah, yeah, Miguel and, and, and how important simple songs are to get your, your song out to the masses, all right? Well, I'll give this song uh, an 8.7. I'll give this song an 8.7. Okay. It's, it's a very, very good... Yeah, it's a very good song, you know what I mean? Like, it... If, if the vocals maybe were in a different key, like you're saying, like it didn't hit me at first because I was paying attention to all the other stuff. If I were, if I would have heard it three times, maybe then you know, then all right, now I start paying attention to that. Yeah. Right? So you, you got it the first time. For me, it becomes right. like, <clears throat> what mood do you want to convey here? Like, make up your mind because I wanted it to sound more sinister, and therefore the vocals to me kind of ruined the song. I would kind of want to go without the vocals on this one. Just listening to the metal riff or whatever. And, and, and it, it would have been like like that one song you played me though. But that had vocals. And although that song, song is great. Yeah. It had vocals. You just weren't paying attention to it. Anyways. It it yeah. it, it was outshined by me trying to catch With, all those good Well, riffs. listen. I don't mind doing a reaction on that reaction at some point. Okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a reaction on the reaction of yeah. the reaction. A year and then later. We'll react to that. Yeah, but a year later. So yeah. So it becomes like Inception. So I've seen I've seen that movie, Inception, when it when they go into a dream. Have I seen Inception? All right, you always have to do that. All right. You always ask me dumb questions. Yeah, like but that. you always I, have to say, you know how offended, have I seen you know how offended Pepsi Man would be if you asked him, has he seen Inception? He'd either say, Of course, or he'd be like, No, I don't know what I was like, dude. I was just Christopher I, Nolan, man. I don't know what movies you've seen. I have to just ask you. We've seen every Christopher Nolan movie. Just yeah, but that. I don't need to hear that thing all the time. Hold on. Yeah, so I would have been. I would have liked this without the vocals. I I like the sinister riff the most in this. That was pretty good, and it shouldn't be overshadowed. That was a good riff. Uh, I'll give this a six. I just want to say, I just want to say this music <laughs> may, has made me feel better. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in a much better mood. It gives you energy. But, but think about you know. But think about when you like make those period jokes, right? Think about it. it. Don't have nothing to do with nothing but like 
you know what I mean? I'm like, right to? now, I'm like, I feel giddy. Yeah. <laughs> After listening to that, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's I'm because like, it's all sound and vibration and energy, right? So it depends on what that, sound. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, yeah. it, it all it all matters. You know what I mean? What so whoever requested that, listening to. I appreciate that. That, that was, was a very, milkweed. very good song. That was milkweed, like that. man. That was milkweed. But I